Now before I get started, I would just like to ask people that if they want to promote their channel, by all means they can do on the start of my videos. All they need to do is just cut a 5 to 10 second promo. Basically just introduce yourself, say who you are, what your channel name is, say you're watching Pond Gurus metal detecting videos. Come across to my channel, I've got loads of videos on whatever. Say that you're searching with whatever sort of detector and you're finding whatever. Basically just tell people a little bit about your channel. Invite them over and that would be great. I'll stick that on the start of my video, but uh, it'd just be a good chance for you to promote your channel through my videos. Likewise, if anybody wants me to do one for their channel, just let me know and I'll do it no problem. Thanks for watching. Hello there. Today I'm at a secret location in Hexhamshire. There's a big lake behind me here. It's kind of a forgotten lake. It was actually hand dug in the 1920s, so I'm going to be going all around it trying to find remnants of whoever built it and hopefully trying to avoid big fishing weights and other modern trash. I'm using the XP Deus 9 inch coil. Got it set in GM power and I've reduced the frequency to 12. Here's the first dig. It was reading quite a good 86 both ways. Ah, <laughs> we've got a fishing weight. First dig of the day and it's a fishing weight. Unfortunately, although the scenery's very nice down here, this hasn't been used as a fishing lake for so long that everything's well overgrown. Most of the bracken's chest height or even higher. There's brambles everywhere and I just can't detect on most of the footpaths and the bank sides, which is a bit of a bummer, so I may have to come back here in the winter. I'm going to have a little scoot around the footpaths on the way back and then I'm going to go into the surrounding fields which have got horses in so the grass is very short there. Hopefully that will turn up some finds. Finally first pre-decimal coin. That's a canny imprint. It's a 1913 penny. There's another one, that was a reading 86, I give a fairly good signal. It's an old threepenny bit. George VI. Uh, that's 1944. Yeah, 1944. This one was reading 86 as well. Very bold signal. Ah, that's another penny. George the sixth one, so it's quite a late one. 19 something or other, it's not in very good condition. This was a canny old depth and it looks like a coin or a big button. Bals! It's a big button. I thought that was a coin there, I was getting excited. What a bugger. I suppose for a button collector it would be very exciting, but uh, I've seen plenty of them. It was a reasonable depth, probably about six, seven inches. And it looks like a bag seal. The King's Seed something or other. Stour Bridge. And that's got quite a nice pattern on the back. Uh, that way up. It's got a crown on the top. Red Field something or other maybe. And that side's missing. That's quite a detailed one. That's one for Peace Havens. Although it's not Russian. Looks like the musket ball to me. Yep, not a very well made one either. Yeah, there's something in there somewhere, it was giving a, a great signal. Oh, there it is, man. Big old musket ball. Probably about three and a half to four inches down. Here's an old badge that was right on the top. But right and all the way around the sides in what looks like either a castle or some sort of tower on it. It's in reasonably good condition, looks pretty old. Um, this was just in the woodland area. I'll clean that up and see if I can find anything on it. 
Okay, here's that button cleaned up a little bit. It's got new castle, something or other. Volunteers along the bottom there. So new castle, something, volunteers. And it is indeed a little castle with a flag on the left and what looks like a cannon on the right hand side. Never seen one of those before, so if anybody has any ideas, they can um, put that in the comments section. I really have no idea. Nice little button though. I'm on a new site now. This is the wooded area, or ex wooded area, or ex parkland that's turned into a wooded area around an 18th century mansion where I found quite a lot of coins with the e track. There's a few areas, particularly behind me, underneath those trees, where there's a lot of contamination in the ground, a lot of rubbish. So I'm hoping that the Deus will pick up some good finds amongst there, because I, I've struggled there with the E-Track. I've already done a little bit of the field, and I've found a few keys and so on, but nothing of any sort of interest yet. This was a signal reading in the mid-60s, uh, and I've got what looks like a coin ball here. Ah, that looks like the imprint of a buckle. Yeah, it is a buckle. There you go, it's quite a nice one as well. I'd give a cracking signal, that was probably down about six to seven inches. Now that's a bloody good depth. The little half penny there, in fact you can see, there's the imprint. There's the imprint of that half penny, which has got to be a good eight, nine inches down, and I gave a cracking signal. That's good. This gave a good signal, reading late 50s to early 60s, and it's probably about six, seven inches down. Big old key. This was reading a nice, loud 86 in 12 kilohertz mode. Oh, there you go. There's a, a coin, an old penny, at approximately six to seven inches down. And that's a George V penny. It's in pretty good nick. It actually still looks quite coppery. Scabby bits on the back there, but it's it's in pretty good nick. And the date on that is 1929. And out of the same hole is a huge lump of coke. This is reading between 78 and 80. And this one's a half penny. Yeah, that one's actually in very good condition. It's so George V and it's 1931. Well, this wooded area has been very, very difficult. There's a lot of crap in there, but I picked a few coins out. And that's an old threepenny bit. Actually, it's quite a, a new threepenny bit. That one's Elizabeth II. And the date on that is 1959. I'm on the front lawn now. I've done this area to death with the E-Track and the 18 inch coil. So to be honest I'm not expecting to find anything from here. I've probably had about 30 or 40 coins off here, but you never know. This was reading a nice 82, hey up there, and it's a modern pound coin. This was reading a very crisp 70, and it's a 50 pence. 50 pence and a 10 pence. They haven't been in the ground very long. That one gave a good signal because it was very shallow and it's a big 50 pence. Found quite a few coins on this um, lawn. All of them modern unfortunately, apart from a few old threepenny bits. This was reading 85 and it's another pund coin. I think I found three or four of them now. So then, what have I learned from those few short hunts? I've learned that I still love using this detector. It's still very light, very responsive. But I've also learned that it's good at picking targets out from amongst coke 
as that huge lump of coke in that hole demonstrated. It was only a half penny right next to the coke and the coke just gave no signal. It picked up on the half penny. Ordinarily coke would give a signal and I would just ignore it because it reads very low but it picked that half penny out of that hole in amongst all of that crap really well and very clear. Also it doesn't seem to matter how fast I go with this. I was picking up a few signals I was thinking that's a good signal. Going back over it literally just swinging as fast as I could and that clear signal was hitting every single time. I haven't dug any really deep holes but it's a 9 inch coil, I don't expect it to go as deep as that 18 inch E-Track coil at all. But the depth that it is getting is impressive and the signals at depth are very good, very clear. The one thing that I do think every time I pick this thing up is that it doesn't half look like the Starship Enterprise which is great if you want to fight Klingons on Uranus. Now you'll notice this time I've got a little cover for the control box. These are really cheap. I think they're only five or six quid or something. And this was off eBay from a seller called Phil's Quality Detecting Supplies. I'll put the link to this particular thing in the video description. So how pleased am I with this? Still very pleased. Everything's going well. I think I will go for the bigger coil, the 11 inch coil, just to get the extra depth because coming from the E-Track with the big heavy 18 inch coil I feel as if I am well I know I'm not getting as deep because it it, it can't possibly get as deep as the E-Track and I haven't been digging such deep holes it's not that I've got some sort of fetish for digging deep holes I just like to make sure that I'm covering as much ground as possible and that includes as much depth as possible as well so that's the end of this one. Thanks for watching. There wasn't any outstanding finds, but there was plenty of them. And actually one more thing before I go, when I was on the lawns outside the mansion house picking up those relatively shallow modern coins, they all gave a really excellent clear signal, as I would expect them to. But um, I think one of my next trips might be to a local park where it's absolutely infested with trash. And I'll try and pick out some decent finds from amongst that.